is for structural change. Okay. Now, um, the Earth was created, designed by God at the beginning, and um, it had a format when it was the complete uh, with the complete work of the sixth day and resting and seventh was a completed format to the design. Um, it existed in a certain way. There was movement through in the animal life and uh, plant life growing and so forth. And, um, but it had a, a chord design, which was, that was what you got. It was generally what you got. But this creature, mankind, and man had been created. And man, um, as population increased, to, increased over time, started to do things to the earth. The primary creature which did things to the earth. Some animals have done a few things here and there to, to things. There's a beavers built dams and things, but, um, Mankind has um, structurally changed the Earth gradually over many years, and uh, in 2020, which we're up to now, a lot of structural change happens on planet Earth on a regular enough basis. So what is going on on planet Earth is that the um, it's, it's structurally de developing on a regular basis. Some species have ceased to exist and got into extinction because they weren't, I guess, fit enough for coping with the ongoing reality of life on this planet as it has developed. So what Earth is going through regularly is structural development, structural change, and one might argue perhaps the Creator has a, uh, a goal in mind for all this structural development of what goes on um, in Earth, and uh, an ultimate sort of state he might be working towards, or he might be working towards a state of ongoing flux for the uh, gen you know, change, for for generally how Earth life should function. Maybe there's an ultimate paradise concept which God wants for the the maximum sort of happiness or you know perfection of planet Earth. Or maybe it's just a series of ongoing variations of ideas which entertain humanity, primarily humanity's thoughts and uh, thirst for uh, adventure at night. An interesting question, these um, philosophies.